In the Mission Manatee Day 10 and 12 videos, we went to places where we were allowed to swim with manatees. Those places had some special rules to protect manatees. One of them was that if a manatee touched us first, we were allowed to touch it back using one hand with our palm open. Yeah, it really seemed like the manatees wanted our attention. There was a lot of algae growing on the back of this manatee. This manatee swam right underneath me. Its back rubbed against my belly and practically lifted me out of the water. It was incredible! This manatee swam right up to Curtis and touched his camera with its nose. It really seemed like it wanted to have pets. There are some other rules in this area to protect manatees. For example, we had to swim with pool noodles so we would float near the surface of the water, and we were not allowed to wear flippers so that we couldn't accidentally kick manatees with them. I wonder what this flipper display is about. At one point, we were almost completely surrounded by manatees. There seemed to be a manatee on every side, and it was kind of hard to keep track of them all. They seemed as curious about us as we were about them. The manatee's behavior reminded me of golden retriever puppies. They seemed to want all our attention. I love this shot. You can see how they're almost surrounding Curtis. I was looking at one manatee, and then I realized there were many manatees all around me. Some of them were behind me and even below me that you can't see here in the video. There were so many of them so close to me, I had to be really careful not to accidentally kick one with my foot or hit one with my knee or get the camera too close to them. It was incredible! They were everywhere. I couldn't hardly get away from looking. They're still in the water. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check us out at GoToScience and join us on our wild and wonderful research adventures.